the best, Dave Mercer. Hello. How are Hi. you? Weird off season. Crazy. But you have to be really happy with what happened the last four days. Beyond happy. Honestly, coming into this event, I mean, uh, it's no joke, you know, it was a crazy weird off season and it's an emotional thing for a lot of us, you know, some of our best friends. But honestly, watching these young guys, you know, and, and I say the young guys and the oldest dude ever to win an event wins, which is even more fitting, you know, like, but when you see, I remember talking about the guys who, who won, you know, or even made it to the top 10, like guys like Greg De Palma and just how emotional they are. And I honestly, weirdly enough, I think it couldn't have happened at a better time in our sport. And I never would have said, just because if you look at how prepared guys like Patrick Walters are, yeah, because over the last six or seven years, there's been such an upswelling in collegiate fishing, such an upswelling in the opens and people trying to qualify for the elites. So it's clearly they're ready. You know yeah. what I mean? A, a, a rookie used to take two, three years and, you know, Seth Fighter, a prime example, you know, he's there two years and you're like, uh, then he catches him, gets a little confidence and look out. James Elam, same thing happened with. But these guys, I mean, Patrick Walters, his first event. I know. And the Johnston brothers. Yeah, they're, I mean, I left a country because of them. They, they, they really are. They, they are, the, the thing that's amazing about them is, and look, this guy was their camera guy. Come in here, EK, you can give some insight on this. But the thing that's amazing about Johnson Brothers, why they are as good as they are, is because they excelled at every level. And that's one of the biggest mistakes in fishing. You hear people, you know, they, if you have a good run in the opens, you qualify for the elites and rush to it. Dominate at home and then start dominating and bigger and bigger. And as you can see, they're clearly ready. I mean, uh, as a Canadian, you know, you're kind of heartbroken to see them lose, but right. how can you be to Rick Klein? Well, I, I was with Corey and, and he, uh, he had the one spot of reeds that kept him going pretty good yesterday and it was just too blown out today. So he had to make some adjustments and just couldn't find the big ones that everybody else was finding. Yeah, but you fished with, I mean, you've been a camera boat with, I don't know how many winners, but you've been with the best of the right. best. Everybody. These guys got what it takes to hang on the Elite Series. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of times when you get regional guys that are one-trick ponies, you know, you think northern guys, smallmouth, southern guys, they don't, you know, know how to fish up north. But uh, these guys, they, they proved it today. Yes. So, sorry for bringing a guest. That, that's all right. That's all right. Thank you. EK, superstar, bass master, videographer. Let's just let's just get it out. What about this crowd? Oh, awesome. Could you even imagine? There's there's I, I, this is the, one of the best crowds beside the classic. This is the best crowd I've ever seen. Oh, it it, um, it I said at the beginning of the way, on, and I'm like you know there's championship Sunday excitement for an elite series event, and then that's obviously ratcheted up at the classic. But this tournament, because of all the giant fish, it kind of had that classic feel almost to it, and there's something cool going on. You know what I mean? Like with the crowd, I, I'll be honest, I'm seeing way more. I'm seeing a lot of kids. With a lot of kids, but you're also seeing a lot, a lot of those older dudes with the old bass patches and stuff. There's like a real upswelling of bass pride. And, and I think it's a great thing. There's you know? a lot of loyalty. Yeah, it's, and, and trust me, none of this is anything against anything that that that's happening over there because like i said some of those are guys are my best friends in the world yeah but how awesome a time is it for the sport you know to to see what happened in the off season and then to see this crop of young anglers catch studs and, and just like Tear. it's never happened here before they tore it up this yeah. weekend yeah 90 pounds was the biggest weight to win here before and we got this close to yeah. the Century Club, and and it's cool that Rick Klum won. You know what I mean? It really it, is. All week it was about the Johnsons and all these young guys, and then Rick Klum says, "Hey, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> it, I know how to catch him too." It was awesome, and 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 to and to see the anglers look at Rick. You know what I mean? Oh, like they're... John Cruz was beaming when, yes. when Rick beat him, and and you're like. That's weird. They normally don't smile, but how can't you? It's Rick Flynn. It is Rick Flynn. A fantastic week all over, overall. What y'all are doing during the day, the live feed and all that stuff, I've told you before, I think y'all are 
the group you guys have with Height and you and Zona and Saunders, we had Ronnie Moore on the show yesterday morning. Is there any way to get better for you guys? I, I you know, I, I don't, I think there always is. I mean, anybody that says, uh, uh, I'm proud of the entire team. You know what I mean? Like, I will say this, everybody um, in this entire team, whether it's camera guys, everybody, they, they are all in. And, and if one thing uh, a crazy off season did is everybody came all in on their A game. You know, everybody, and it's, you know, it's it's kind of cool. You know, it's like almost a rebirth and exciting. You know, they, I even said the that. anglers, you know, like, I mean, I always do this crazy thing. When I intro the top 10 on Saturday, when we do the cut, I'm backstage screaming in their face just for fun because it's fun for me. And it's kind of, my whole theory is Get the more I can heighten the moment for them, the, yeah. the cooler. And uh, I never do that to Rick Klon because, I mean, I yell <laughs> stuff, but I never, because I mean, he's just, he's Rick Klon. I mean, he's kind of intimidating. And even his vibe, it's just such a weird kind of, because he's inspired by the youth, right? And yeah. yesterday, I mean, I was pointing at his chest, everything, he was laughing. It's just a, it's a cool time in fishing, really, all over. Not just what we're doing, but there's a lot of cool stuff in the fishing world, they, you gotta yeah. be you gotta be proud of be what you of it. you gotta be proud of what you guys did this week. I mean, I, I honestly, the amount of people. I mean, I I knew there was gonna be a crowd, but you had told me I had some woman twerking in front of me, and I don't know if she knew it. And I and then I took a picture of it, and I thought I better not. But I'm gonna put it on here. Okay, I'll watch the video. <laughs> She's like 75, but who cares? <laughs> okay, have fun. We'll we're, we're gonna go to factsoffishing.com. Yeah, sure. We, we got to talk about the show at some point on the radio. Yeah, let's do that. But thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you guys for all your support. And here's the last thing I got to say. It's a badass time to be in our sport. And uh, I'm thankful for that. And uh, what a week. It's been awesome. Unbelievable week. Really awesome. Uh, I hope you feel better before next week, by the way. We keep having weeks like this. And I won't even worry about When you see crowds like that, does your back not hurt after seeing that? No, but then you crash really bad. Like, Do you really? When I get to my car and start driving, all of a sudden I'll be like, ah! <laughs> but, but yeah, when you're in front of the crowd, I mean, it's really easy to forget. You, I mean, that's the Do greatest you feeling in the world. I know. I honestly, I, I think I get a little depressed in the off season. Do you, know you I mean? really? You I mean, it's a drug. It, it is. Are you kidding? I mean, I'm a fat, old white guy. People <laughs> cheer. They yeah, love you, man. I mean, I they love, love you. I love it. It's, uh, Someone came up to me today and said, because uh, I had a media badge, and he's like, is there any way you can have Dave come see me after the thing? I said, no, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I would have done it. Well, he, was, he wanted to talk about something else. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, thank you. See you, buddy. Later, thank brother. You.